All right, so I'm going to be doing a political compass of Sonic the Hedgehog characters. And this is going to be completely off the dome. This is there's no there's nothing for me made to even give me any description or any info on why I believe or what I'm about to say. So, if it seems very disagreeable with what I say, then it's probably because I just didn't really think about it too much and just first up, I'm going to say Sonic the Hedgehog. I would say he's very um I want to say he's very libertarian. That's one thing. But I don't know how he would be economically. It's kind of hard for me to imagine him actually be more capitalist leaning. But I also can't find any hints of him also being like left leaning when it comes to economics. Kind of close to the center. Maybe leaning towards uh, this side. Um, economically speaking, I guess. Shadow. I think he's also a libertarian. He does consider himself as the ultimate life form. Hmm. And the lore, I guess, is that he has, like, clones of him, and he's not sure if he's real. If I had to say, I think he'd be libertarian, but I don't know why he just seems capitalist, like, leaning. But but I'm going to say, I'm going to say he's, he's going to be here. Sonic should be here. Like, he's, he's very libertarian. Shadow's, Shadow's like, I don't give a fuck. And then for Tails... Tails is smart. He's supposed to be really smart. So he seems like he would probably like read a lot. When I say read a lot, it's probably already insinuating that I'm probably going to put him economically left. But I'm thinking that he reads socialist or communist literature only to be, uh, to be more informed in disapproving them. So he's very also right leaning. I feel like he would just be super out of pocket. Like, if you ask him, like, he's really nice when you, like, so he's nice to Sonic or whatever. But if you just ask him about his political beliefs, it's when everything goes downhill. <laughs> he's, like, an advocate for fascism or <laughs> or any form of ty tyrannical government. Anyways, um, Amy? If I, I would put Amy in a different section. I wouldn't even, I don't even know why I put it. Uh, put her as an option. I would just put her in a different section. I put her here because it's blue for Sonic because how much she's in love with him. And then we have Eggman. He's easily up here. I would put Tails up down here. Amy was just right there. He's easily right here. I mean, he literally does not... He, is, he owns an empire. He owns Eggman land. He's made machinery at the cost of the environment and other uh, forms of life. He does not give a flying fuck. And he will want to control all of Earth. That's just his goal. And he will go through that by any means. Knuckles. Knuckles is very left-leaning. I would say he's more... He's very cooperative. He is part of a clan that's very cooperative. And stand by standards uh, of their culture. Which is to defend the Master Chaos Emerald. So I would say he's very left-leaning. Very libertarian too. I think Sonic would honestly now mentioning this. I think Sonic would be close to Knuckles in, in this aspect. This I think I think right now this this makes sense to me the most. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, subscribe.